Welcome everybody. We are counting day 34 in this um, Omer series and we are in the Sefira, the energy of Hod. And it's an energy that is very, very still, like the reflective waters um, where there's no wind, there's no boats going through, everything is completely um, still, quiet, and static. And it's in this stillness that Rabbi Margolius teaches, we can allow our blessings to catch up as we cultivate the trait of gratitude. And tonight we explore Yisad in Hod. And Yisad means foundation or, you know, something that's the root or at the heart of something. So we have what is the foundation of um, your gratitude. And as I find myself thinking about what is foundational in my life that helps me cultivate gratitude, um, that that's be, that became kind of a serious question um, because I'm asking, so what is solid in my life that I can always draw upon to help me experience the joy of my blessings? Short answer for me is I am struck by words from Rabbi Mitlin Steinberg of Park Avenue Synagogue, who uh, many, many years ago spoke about a practice of holding the world with open arms. Holding the world with open arms. And as we do that, we are then also reminded that everything we see, touch, own, experience, passes in time. There is nothing we can experience or possess forever. So that means whether I'm plagued by fear, which I am a lot, that I'm about to lose something, it's in my DNA, and it's in my life experience, or um, whether I'm frustrated by what I'm currently experiencing, I can remember that nothing is permanent, as much as I don't really want to think about that. But that's the truth. Nothing is permanent. All is very, very impermanent. And interestingly, it is this fragility that I find the most grounding. I, I think somebody had said to me years ago that I would be grounded by impermanence. I would have thought they've lost their mind. But it's the understanding that all is temporary that allows me to find joy to actually feel joy in what I have, because I, I genuinely remember it, nothing lasts forever. And then I can navigate better the things that mm, make me forget there is such a thing as gratitude, all the things that when I that pull me into the dark void, the dark hole. So for me, this practice of holding the world with open arms, because everything in life is fragile and impermanent, this practice helps me better access joy. So tonight and tomorrow, what is the foundation to your ability to cultivate gratitude, to cultivate joy? So we bless. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedishana v'nitzvotah v'tzivano al svirat haomer Blessed are you, source of life, spirit of the world, who has sanctified us with commandments and commanded us to count the Omer. Hayom arba'a u'slashim yom, shehem arba'a shavuot v'shisha yamim la'omer. Today is day 34, which is four weeks and six days of the Omer. I hope everyone has a good night, Erev Tov, and hope to see you again next time. Take care.